Hi, welcome to Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7Tutors.com. In this lesson, we will be looking at selection and cropping. Now, let's say you're browsing the internet and you're about to fill out a form, and then you have a drop down menu with lots of options, and you have to select one, and then you finally select one, and then you discard the rest, and then you carry on. Or you're in the market and you see a basket full of grapes, and you have to select the one you want, you take them, you buy them. And then you're done now in Photoshop you can select a portion of an image and apply an effect to it or you remove it um, entirely from your work and to illustrate this we are going to be using the rectangular tool and the elliptical tool in Photoshop all right so let's get started all right so we're going to create a new document and import an image into our work area to illustrate how the selection works and what we can do with it so we'll come up here to our menu bar, click on File, click on New, and we can just use the shortcut. So we'll just leave everything here the way it is, just click OK. All right, so we're going to be importing an image using our mini bridge. So we'll click here, and we'll use this one. So we just drag and drop. Close this, and place. Now to illustrate the selection, we're going to select this region of our image and to do this we'll use the rectangular tool that is found on our tool palette or in our tool palette directly beneath the move tool and we'll just click here and we have our rectangular tool and elliptical tool so with this you can create the shapes you want so we'll just come here click on an empty space or the nearest region and then you just drag and then you let it go. Simple as that. And with this, we have made our selection. And then you can drag it up. Just click in the center or in the middle, and drag it around. And as you can see, when it, when we apply an effect to a selected area, it only affect, um, affects the region that has been selected. Everything else remains the same. So we'll just come up here. We're going to blur out this NYC. We'll come here to filter come to blur and then to Gaussian blur and then you click OK and as you can see that is very simple so like we said before you can just select a portion of an image and then you can just apply an effect to it or you can just cut it out now the reason why we do this is let's say you're working on an image that has some really sensitive information that you don't want other people to see you can just select it come to filter or you can blow it out or you can apply whatever effect you choose and then you can also cut out your selection into a new layer so let's say you have an image and you just want to select this guy and then you can just cut him out or copy him out to another layer and it will appear here in the layer palette so we we'll just click here and then select now with our selection made you can right click and then you can see layer via copy now what this does is that it copies everything within the selected region to a new layer and then beneath it we have the layer via cut but this as you can see is not active and if you select this it cuts this out of the main image to a new layer and then if you say layer via copy now you can see that everything within here is blurred out and if you shut down the other layer you can see that this is the only the only layer that is showing because this layer has been exported to a new layer so you can do whatever you want to with the selection tool you can create some really outstanding effects so we're going to be illustrating that very um, quickly so we'll just step back okay and also when selecting you can select from the center point and you can do this by holding down the Alt key or the Option key on your keyboard and then you click and drag. I can see it comes out from the middle. So if you want to select from here, you can just click and drag. You know, and then you can manipulate it whatever way you want to. Okay. You can do some really cool things with it. You can even remove certain portions of an image. For example, to illustrate this, we're going to create a new layer 
So we'll come here, create new layer, and then we'll make use of our elliptical tool. Then we'll just select this NYC here. Close it up. Okay. And then with this selected, we come up here to edit, and then we choose fill. And then once you've chosen the fill, you can just choose um, the region around the selected area. So we're going to choose this portion here, and then it changes the foreground color to white or it changes the color of the selected region here. And when you click OK, all right, and you can see that it has removed that selected portion. And then to look, to have a proper view, you can just right click on it and deselect or Control D or Command D. And you can see, it seems like it was never there in the first place. So if you're looking at it, you will say, wow, it's when we share to just NYC. And then if we shut down, shut off this layer, you can see it reappears. So you can do so many beautiful, you know, effects with it. Let's use the rectangular tool to illustrate. You can also select the NYC here. Come to edit, fill, and we just choose the layer around it. And click OK. Then set up. And just like that, you can see that it's gone. So very simple. That is what you can use it to do. So we're going to be illustrating something. We're going to be doing something very quickly. We're going to be illustrating how you can make use of the selection tool again. So we're just going to click right here, right click, and then select new document. I'm leaving everything here. Okay. So we're not going to import any image into our work area. We're just going to be working from scratch. So we're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to apply a gradient to this layer. So we'll come down here and we'll select our gradient tool. Okay. Uh, we'll choose, choose this option here, black and white. Okay. Then just left click and drag to get your gradient. So let's just take this. Okay, now we're going to create a new layer. And then what we're going to do, we're going to select our rectangular tool. Then you can just select. So with this, you can right click. Oh, as you can see, our layer via cut option is now available. So if you click on this, I'm oh, sorry, it's empty. So we'll select our layer with something on it. Then we right click and say layer via cut. And then it seems nothing has happened. But if you come here to the layer um, palette and then you shut off the layer beneath it, you can see the selection we just made. Now it has cut it out of the main image and brought it to a new layer. So if we shut off this layer above it and turn this one back on, you can see it has been cut out. So if you turn this on, turn that off, it's like we're inverting it. Okay. Let's bring this to the center here. Add a new layer. And then we'll just go back. Now, you can also select a portion of your selection and cut out of it or add to it. Now, how do we do this? Now, with our region selected, you can come here again and select the rectangular tool or the elliptical tool, whichever one you want, and then to cut out of it, you hold down the Alt key and then you drag. And as you can see, we have cut out of it. Or if you want to add to it, you hold down the Shift key and then drag. As you can see, it has merged the new selection with the previous one to create a shape. So let's see, what can we do with this? So I just want to illustrate a beautiful design you can do. Let me just come here, select this. Let's see the layer cut. Let's shut up this layer. 
this in here. Cool. We will select our rectangular tool. And you can see as we've cut it out, we just shut off this layer. And there you go. We've created a beautiful design. Uh, what else can we do? We'll come here and make use of our elliptical tool again. Hold down the shift key. Then you just drag. Let's see. Now with our selection made, you right click. Layer. We are cut. Oops. Sorry. This is empty. You just come here again, select the layer with something on it, right click, layer, layer, cut. And then we just shut off the layer. Okay. So this looks like a, a fish or a whale with his mouth open. Let's give it an eye. Let's give it an eye. So this layer selected with our elliptical tool still selected we just hold on the alt key and then we just select go over here yeah. cut and we shut that off and then you can see you can just keep removing or adding or adding so let's see okay come here to our rectangular tool hold down the shift key select the layer with something on it hold down the shift key and then make our selection mm. you can see the layer here cut yeah, you can just remove that yeah. Let's see Let me shut that off. Okay. So I don't know exactly <laughs> what we have here. But we have this kind of weird fish eye missing parts. Okay, then we can just apply a text to it. So we just select our text tool. Come here and we can say fish media. And we'll show our transform controls and then we we'll just drag it out. Okay. And we we'll apply the transform. And we we'll shut off the transform controls. So let's say you're working on a cool logo, you know, on a fish logo. You can just, you know, create a shape and keep cutting out, cutting out, cutting out. You can see we have this gradient effect in the background. So just experiment and just you know go real wild with the selection tool. So there you go. That's how you make use of the selection tool. And then you can also make some real cool selections, some specific selections with the other tool beneath, like this one here, the quick selection tool. But we'll be looking at that later on in the advanced tutorial. So up next, we'll be looking at the cropping tool and how to you know remove portions of an image in photoshop